now we're going to install the Arduino board to the left side of the printer. And what you need for this is the large acrylic rectangular piece here, your Arduino board, you need four M3 by 10 millimeter screws. Now there's two ways to mount this, the LCD version and the non-LCD version. Now I'm going to do the non-LCD version first. The orientation of the printer base is front, right, left. We're attaching the Arduino board to the left side of the printer. I'm going to demonstrate the non-LCD way first. Your acrylic part is this large rectangular piece here. It's got a little nudge here on the back end of it. This back end nudge needs to be pointing towards the back end of the printer. Your Arduino board is going to be installed using these two holes here utilizing an M3 by 10 millimeter bolt. So you line it up with these two holes noticing that your USB port is pointing towards the front of the printer. And again this is the non-LCD way. To install the LCD version with the Arduino board you want to make sure the nudge is pointing to the front of your base. And you would align your Arduino board with the two holes here and the USB port is going to be pointing towards the back. So we'll screw those in now. By using two M3 by 10 millimeter screws, you're going to attach it to the acrylic. Alright, now to install your RAMS board onto your Arduino board, all you need to do is line up your pins with the pin lineup on your Arduino board. You want to make sure you press this down evenly, not forcing one side further down than the other. Once you have them lined up, apply even pressure all the way around your board so it goes down into the pins evenly. Once you have it all the way in, just make sure it's all pressed in. You make sure all the pins are seated evenly and that you don't have one side that's raised up. To mount your Arduino board and ramps board assembly onto your left side bar two, we have four nuts down here. You want to make sure you move two of those nuts to your far back side to get those out of the way. We'll need those later. And the two nuts that are left, you want to split those up. You want to line up your your bolt underneath the hole like we've done previously. Get that bolt to line up with the nut and make sure you leave it loose so we can still adjust this as needed. And we'll tighten this down later. Mm -hmm. 